For now, though, let's just focus on to this. Global pharmaceutical giant Johnson & Johnson has launched the J&J &J Satellite Center for Global Health Discovery at the Holistic Drug Discovery and Development Center at the University of Cape Town. The center is a critical step in the creation of a global scientific network to stimulate local innovation and support researchers. We're now joined by the founder and director of H3D, Professor Kelly Chibane. Thank you very much uh, for availability yourself this afternoon we do understand that this is the first of its kind for the continent what is the mandate and why is it so important thank you very much uh, for having me on the on the show and good afternoon to, to the viewers this is um, um, a very significant moment it's a momentous and historical uh, occasion uh, first of all the mandate uh, is to forward first of all it is to focus on addressing the crisis of antimicrobial resistance by discovering and developing uh, what we are calling precision antibiotics uh, that will be effective on the bacteria that has become resistant to conventional antibiotics. So that's one aspect of the, the goal of this partnership. The second aspect is training the next generation of South African and African scientists um, in drug discovery um, based on the industry standards. Why is this significant? It is significant for the Republic of South Africa and by implication for the rest of the continent. So first of all, H3D, a drug discovery center, is a national South Africa technology innovation agency tier platform, which is critical to the implementation of the, the South African government's Department of Science and Innovation biotechnology strategy. But secondly, it is very significant um, because we are going to be doing the discovery of the next generation of antibiotics in close proximity to where the patients are. This is very significant because there is a relationship between the gen genetics of a population, their socioeconomic and physical environment in which they live, and effective treatment outcomes. So this is the second reason why this is significant. Finally, it is significant because as we have seen with the COVID-19 pandemic, it has become potently clear that it is important to build innovation ecosystems so that we can prepare to respond to a future pandemic and be able to contribute health solutions. So what this partnership with Johnson & Johnson is going to enable South Africa to do is to proactively develop the skills that will be needed for us to respond to a future pandemic. Professor Chibale, while we are having a global outlook for this, I do wonder how we are communicating uh, as a continent. You've got the Africa Center for Disease Control. What kind of partnerships are we going to see coming out of that? You speak of ecosystems, um, and I think that some would be unique, right, to uh, the continent. So just how much are we talking to each other and trying to find those solutions uh, as we look to collaborate with the rest of the world? Thank you so much. So currently, um, H3D, our drug discovery center at the University of Cape Town, has been involved in developing a program in partnership with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which is known as the Grand Challenges Drug Discovery Program. And this is specifically geared and intended to deliberately and intentionally expand the ecosystem of doing uh, early stage drug discovery. What this partnership will do is build on this initiative so that we can scale 
the activities and the skills development so that we partner on projects in collaboration with other centers across the continent. So in a way, as far as the discovery of new medicines is concerned, there is already a process that H3D initiated in about 2018 with support, generous support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, where we currently have 16 guarantees, cohorts, from all across Africa who have been given funding to participate in this network of partnerships to develop the skills that are needed to discover new medicines. So already we have a growing ecosystem across the continent, and this will take that to the next level. I think what I'm hearing essentially is leveling the playing field so that we as a continent uh, can also be at the table. Uh, why is antimicrobial resistance a global concern? So generally when we talk about antimicrobial resistance, we are in other words referring to what we call drug resistant infections. So it's a much broader term, but to be more specific to what this partnership with J&J &J is going to focus on, to give you some statistics, this was a Lancet publication that came out um, actually early this year, uh, in about February, which revealed really, really, really scary statistics. So about almost 5 million people died in 2019 from bacterial antimicrobial resistance. In other words, this, the deaths were associated with, broadly speaking, bacterial antimicrobial resistance. And of that, 1.27 million people died, and those deaths were directly attributable to bacterial antimicrobial resistance. So it's really looking at these bacterial pathogens that are no longer responding to existing antibiotics. And if we do not address this crisis of antimicrobial resistance, potentially we are in danger of facing a pandemic that could be worse than the current COVID-19 pandemic.